Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you with what I guess would be the hottest story of uh, the today. But this story has honestly been hot. It's been on the, the rocks for years. I mean, honestly, since about WrestleMania 27, everyone's been wondering, when is Sting finally coming to WWE? And it seems that today is the day that this news story finally broke. Sting has put his pen on paper and is coming to the land of Vince McMahon. It just seems that it's another little bit of a weird time. I mean, everyone saw, everyone's talked about, everyone's broken it down, everybody's read the story to come out today about Undertaker and who knew what was going on at WrestleMania 30 and all, but the streak has been broken. It's a little bit weird. Uh, Sting was supposed to be one of those guys you would think of as the uh, mystery opponent to come in and, and uh, try and take out Undertaker and break the streak or one more name to put on the legendary list of guys that Undertaker has beaten at WrestleMania, all those past Hall of Famers. Who knows, you know, is, is Sting coming in just to basically be the WrestleMania 31 uh, Hall of Famer, maybe put out a DVD along the way. I've heard rumors that people thinking that they want to see this guy as the Raw GM. I know Brad Maddox doesn't do a whole lot out there, but I mean, think of what Sting did as the TNA commissioner or the TNA, whatever the hell he was out there. It was piss poor horrible. Uh, I'm not the biggest Sting fan. I am happy for the guy finally coming and getting his dues with the WWE. It's been a long time coming. WWE had plans to release a Sting DVD years back, but uh, Vince McMahon put the axe to it. He didn't want to be out there, you know, publicizing a TNA wrestler. And, um, you know, it, it's basically all I wanted. I don't know who in WWE Sting would have a match with to say, like, Sting, give me one more match out there. If it's Daniel Bryan, if it's... Triple H? I don't know. When I think of Sting, I wanted to see him fight Taker. And honestly, I don't see the point of him fighting Taker. Taker's done. In my mind, if you go back to Bound for Glory, Freaking Yay 88 said that he never needed to see Sting have another match. His idea of Sting versus Undertaker was dead in the water. After seeing Sting versus Magnus, he decided that was the match that put it over top. Sting can't go anymore. To me, it was this year's WrestleMania. Uh, you know, Undertaker versus Brock. Uh, I don't want to see Undertaker go anymore. I just that that was me saying I don't need to see Undertaker versus Sting. That's one match that you can put in the ground and bury and say I don't need. So, what do you guys think WWE is even signing Sting for? Is, is, is there one more match? Do you care about twenty two and one now that the streak is over? I mean, like when Cal Ripken broke his consecutive game streak with uh, the Baltimore Orioles in Major League Baseball, he did go out there and play again. I believe he played uh, the game for at least two more years after the streak was broken. Um, so does, does Taker even show up to WrestleMania next year, or does he just put his, you know, his hat on the, uh, on the hook and just say, you know what, I'm all done, leaves his boots at the top of the ramp, say, I'll see you in the, uh, in the Hall of Fame? I don't know. I mean, it's weird. I, I don't know what the hell you need Sting for. I just, I don't know. There's a lot of people out there that want to see him. But if you really go back and you break down Goldberg and WWE, a lot of these WCW guys really don't translate over. It's not fair to say, you know, hey, Booker T had a good run. Booker T pretty much transformed and uh, was a different guy than he was out there. I mean, Rob Van Dam, of course, came to WWE champion. If it wasn't for the weed charges in Cleveland, Ohio, uh, getting pulled over by the cops, maybe we would have saw you know, him go a lot farther. But, uh, you know, Vince likes to use his own guys. You know, what is he going to do with the WCW and TNA guy and Sting? I'm not 100% sold on this. I'm not 100% sure on what's going on. I, but they had plans for Taker to fight at SummerSlam last year. Maybe they have plans for Undertaker to fight at Sting this year. I don't know. But, uh, you know, after seeing, you know, WrestleMania 30, uh, I, I'm not sure that I need to see Undertaker in a ring again. That's just me.